with the Woolworths Everyday Money credit card. There's no annual fee for the first year, so you'll save $49. Apply at everydaymoney.com.au and make the most of every day. Brought to you by Muffin Break. Visit Muffin Break today for freshly baked muffins and great coffee. All the news is coming up right now. Singles, if you're panicking at the thought of spending Valentine's Day alone, imagine flirting and chatting with a whole heap of potential suitors without even leaving the couch. We're talking about online <laughs> dating, of course, a phenomenon that has two million Aussies hooked and hooked up. Mm. As today, Sarah Harris discovered. Hi, I'm a super cool I'm a fun-loving guy, loves to laugh and being around. So I sent the email off. Oh, that was... The beginning of the week and by the Friday night we'd exchanged a couple of emails and we met up. I never thought I'd be sitting here six years later with my husband and my two kids. Tanya and Jeff's love story reads like a Hollywood romance. For years they lived just minutes apart, shopped at the same supermarket, even hit the same bars. But it took the internet for them to meet and finally click. Well, I'll scream it from the rooftops because I know it works. They're not the only ones. The site they used, rsvp.com.au, has already matched up 8,000 marriages. And every day, another 1,000 Aussies sign up, hoping to find romance online. For people that are really time poor, it's a great way when you've got some downtime to get into the world of dating and see if you can find that special someone. People don't meet each other organically anymore. You know, if I would like to make myself seem more attractive to the opposite sex, I don't go and get a new haircut, I update my profile. Divorced and looking for love again, Helen's hoping she'll get mail too. But after joining several free dating sites, her confidence needs a reboot. So they're all Spanish. Calabria is a pizza rara. <laughs> and I keep saying, don't send me any, I don't speak Spanish. I just want a charming gentleman who speaks English. That's because Helen's playing the wrong field, according to relationship expert John Aitken. He says lonely hearts looking for longer lasting relationships usually have better success on computer matchmaking sites where love is based on science. Is you fill out a fairly comprehensive questionnaire and uh, from that you're all also looking at uh, the various key factors that uh, are involved with compatibility and suitability. Helen's trialling the new My Type dating website. And despite having a few problems uploading a photo, within 15 minutes she's put herself and her heart back out there and is already attracting a little bit of interest. I love being in love, so I'm really waiting for the next one around. Now, before you rush to set up your own profile, there are a few online dating rules you need to follow. First, be sure to make your profile stand out. Create a screen name that's interesting but not too sexy or suggestive. Same goes for your personal bio. Then be honest. Don't oversell yourself if you can't deliver and use a recent photo. Just make sure it's a good one. Then be careful. Don't answer personal questions about your income or past relationships too early. Chat lots on the phone before meeting in person. And when you do finally meet, do it in public during the day. And don't forget to play the game. The dating rules still apply in cyberspace, so wait at least 48 hours before responding and don't answer on a Friday or Saturday night. Otherwise, you'll just look desperate. Ouch. Ow. Oh, girl, I know about that. My trampy little sister says MySpace is a new booty call. And there's this advice from the couple who owe their wedded bliss to the tap of a keyboard. Go in with an open mind, um, because you never know where it will lead. And that was today lover Sarah Harris reporting there. <laughs> Let's get the news now with Georgie Gardner. Hey, Georgie. Hey, Carl. Good morning to you. More than seven months after his arrest, China has formally charged Rio Tinto employee Stern Hu. The Australian National and three Chinese colleagues are accused of stealing commercial...